Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, information, guidance, and advice. And I'm reminded of two snippets um, with respect to uh, Rabzu Shevanapol in synagogue. And um, one has to do with him on uh, Yom Kippur, uh, on Erev Yom Kippur. Uh, he's in the synagogue, and he hears the, the chazan uh, in the shul chanting the words, and it is forgiven. And he sang it in a strange and beautiful tone. And Rabzusha was so moved, he cries out, Rabbi Nishalei, master of the universe, lord of the world. Had the Jewish people not sinned, had we not made such horrible mistakes, how could such a song be intoned for you? It was almost like, you know, if you're looking for silver linings, he says, yeah, we sin, but at the same time, our tshuva, our turning back, can be a thing of great beauty. Another snippet with respect to Reb uh, Zushavanapol and Shul. Um, Hazal, our sages, say that whoever answers Amen, to a bracha, to a blessing, to a prayer, the responding amen should not be louder than the voice giving the bracha. So if someone gives a bracha, you can't be shouting amen. That's considered not done. Chazal says you know, the response should not be louder than the person giving the blessing. So Reb Zusha explains it as follows. It's the soul that says the bracha. It's the soul that says the blessing. And it's the body that answers amen. The body should not dare to speak more fervently than the soul has spoken. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. I hope you're finding them of some uh, use, some joy, some inspiration, some, some motivation. Um, we're going to continue making these videos. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.